Guys, welcome back. Uh, Going to do a tutorial on impact, sounds, physics, and explosions with projectiles. So we have our first person template here, and upon as well. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do file and create a new project. And this project is going to be a game. We're going to use the first person template and I'm going to call it uh, projectile tutorial. And so let's go ahead and create that. While we're doing that, I'm going to bring up the Epic Games Marketplace. And if we go to, um, hang on one sec. If we go to, if you look through the marketplace for the military weapons dark, it's a free at, or uh, set of assets. You can add this to the project. It has some things that'll be pretty useful for us today. So we're gonna add that to our project. Now that we've done that, we can see we have the military weapons dark folder down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this just to give you an idea of how the template is stock impacts against the wall, physics on the cubes, and the ball bounces around when it hits a wall. So what we're going to do to uh, add some of our components is the projectile, and we're going to do some things based on when the projectile hits something. So we're going to go to the first person folder, blueprints, and the first person projectile. Now with this, let's open up the view for it. And let's go in our military weapons dark folder and let's see what we have in here. Um, so we have this rocket launcher trail and I'm gonna drag that in. And so that component is right in the middle. Let's save this and see what happens now when we use the same projectile. Oops. Ah, uh, hang on one second, there we go. All right, so now when we use the ball, it has this flaming trail, otherwise it still behaves the same, it bounces around. So now let's go into the event graph for the projectile. And what we have is um, an event that happens when the ball hits something. And actually, let's go, let's go back to this because I want to show you something. When the ball hits the wall, it bounces. When the ball hits a cube, it is destroyed. So I just want to show that because in this code, the first thing that happens is it checks, is the ball simulating physics, yes or no? Or not the ball, the, the object that's being hit, so the cube. And I actually don't want to check that because I want this operation to happen regardless of if it's simulating physics or not. So, or actually maybe a better way to do this would be to create the explosion and the sound and then check if it's simulating physics. So what we can do is we can do spawn particle, oops, uh, sorry, spawn emitter at location. And let's, uh, let me clean this up a little. So the spawn emitter is gonna create a particle effect. So for us, we're gonna do um, let's see, uh, rocket launcher explosion. And these are all effects that came in the pack that we downloaded. And we're gonna do this at the hit location. So now when we do this, we'll hit play. And when we hit something, create an explosion there. Now, if we look, the ball is still bouncing around on the walls, and every time it hits a wall, it's creating another explosion. Except if it hits the cube, it does the explosion and disappears. So the reason for that is we have uh, this destroy actor, but it's only running if the simulated 
uh, if the object hit is simulating physics. So we're going to have to figure out a way around that. But first, let's add a, uh, let's play sound at location. And again, we're going to use that hit location. And we're going to find a sound. And uh, I think there's explosion. Yep, rocket launcher explosion. And then up here, I think we could just say, whether it's true or false, we want to destroy the actor. So if it's true, we're going to add an impulse to so the physics of moving the cube around. Uh, if it's not true, we're just going to destroy the actor right away. So let's save this and see what happens. So now we grab our gun. If we hit a wall, we have the sound, the explosion, and the ball. Rather than bouncing around hit the cube, we have the same effect, which is uh, perfect. Wow, that guy went flying right now. And if we do it a bunch of times real quick, it's pretty cool. It's really not that hard. Um, that's all that's to it, and uh, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.